What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Here we are with Lee and Kenny. We're on the train here. I believe we're heading to the coast, which is around the Savannah area. We need to talk to Clementine about a haircut, a map situation, and shooting a gun. Before we actually do that, let's check in with everybody. This is probably the map right here. But let's check in with anyone. We already checked in with Charles. Good old Chuck up there. And let's check in with Kenny and the rest of the crew. I'm really interested in where the hell we're going to be going, friends. I can't imagine this train is probably going to go on forever. It's going to run out of gas at some point. It looked like the switches said it was low on oil at back where we were before we left. So let's talk to Ken. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. You think it's going to work, Kenny? I hope it does work. I mean, who's to say these things can't swim or they can probably just walk in the water without dying? I don't think water will affect them. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Ken. Yeah. It's the best plan. He's gotta be having a tough time hey. of it. Yeah. About my past? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. I believe Cat was actually okay with us. Are there any maps up here? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah. There's one right here, Kenny. Let me get it. It's full of maps and documents. Well, let's grab it, huh? Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Just give me the map, dude. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Get out of here. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? <laughs> he ain't letting us get this map. We're gonna have to find some other way. Turn this sucker off. Can we do anything with it? I was lucky enough to get it working once. Well, good job, Lee. You are a train conductor, friend. Let's head on back, I guess. I'm not sure what we can do to get that map. He's not letting us buy the grab it. Oh, look, it's Ben! Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left? Carly didn't have to die. No, she didn't have to die. I'm still reeling about that. It still hurts. Aren't many of us left? Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless? Are you going to be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. I hope it's true too. When shit hits the fan again, I hope Ben heroic deeds, I guess, the best word for it. He seems a bit scared right now, but I think he'll be fine the next time we go. That's, I feel like we're molding him here, or trying to rub off on him to be a role model or something. But then again, I don't really know, friends. Ben is really hard to understand. He just seems really young the best thing i can say about ben is that he's still got that young-hearted loving life thing but i don't know if he actually loves life let's just say he well he probably doesn't love life actually i guess i was hoping but with ben he's just young young personality young-hearted i guess carly didn't have to die you know she would have killed me instead yeah maybe see ya yeah. see ya <laughs> hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Ben. See ya. Have a good day, Ben. How the fuck do I get down? The door to the boxcar. It sure is, Lee. Get over there. <laughs> I hope we're not on this train much longer. Do we... I wonder if we go and grab the stuff... Oh, a bottle of whiskey. It's a fifth of whiskey. So Chuck has... Chuck's camp? He's lived here a while.
Well, there's the scissors. Looks clean enough. Let's get all this stuff before we talk to Clem. What can we do with this bottle here, though? Let's go back and talk to... Chuck. Before we talk to Clem. How you doing, Ben? Ben, he's having a rough time. <laughs> he really is. What's up, kid? You know... I wonder... I got this bot. Oh, here we go. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Damn right, I want a nip. Sure. Sure. Sharing a drink with Chuck over here. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. It's an idea. Maybe we'll get Kenny to I take a drink. I found those scissors in your pack. Oh, good. Get to snipping. Anything for you, Charles. Maybe we can ask Kenny to go take a drink with him. Kenny, get out there and have a drink with him. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. Here, here we go. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Here we go. Map's ours now, Ken. Can't block us. Shall we go talk to them? Thanks. Damn. All right, Ken. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. There was that. a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. We have a gun on us. This whole time we had a gun. I was over there looking for some kind of weapon. We got that spike pick thingy, majiggy. But... Makes me wonder... Oh, we can't pick up anymore. What's up, Ben? You want a drink? Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ben. See ya. All right, let's go talk to Clem. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Knew it. Freaking knew it. It's all my fault. Why didn't you... Jesus, Ben? Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. You still want to talk to me? Not really. Not much choice. Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. Yeah, I'm serious about keeping that shit to yourself. You better. Kenny is going to kill you. He will probably just shoot him like Lily shot Carla. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. Pretty... Yeah. It's pretty brave of him to actually want to say that to Kenny, but why did you do it? I should have asked him why he did it. Hey, Ben. Instead of Jesus. Hey. See ya. I feel yeah. like we missed out on dialogue there. But. Uh, figured he did do it. It's unfortunate Carly had to die for him doing it. I don't think Carly had in on anything. 
whatsoever. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Be careful around Ben. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young and doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> Let's ask her this last. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I think he is an okay guy. I think we can trust Chuck. What do you think about Chuck? We don't answer that. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? We trigger steadily, take a breath, hold it, and fire. When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. You don't want the weapon to jerk. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Aim left. I believe it. It looked like it hit up to the right corner. Aim left. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. But she wants to aim lower because it hit the top right corner, I think. Aim lower. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Holy. Good on you, Clem. Oh, getting the second shot, she busted the bottle. It looked like that was on, but it just... Keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. Aim lower. A little bit lower. There you go. Nice. Sorry, Chuck. All your bottles are getting destroyed. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. I love these bonding moments. It won't be bonding over shooting a gun, but we're bonding, friends. And the music going with it. Really awesome. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... You'll get used to it. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. 
And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We should look for your parents. We need to help find a boat. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. But then a boat? Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Tell them... What do you want to tell them, though? We can't tell her not tell our sure. parents. Go ahead. If you need to tell your parents something, tell your parents something, Clem. Oh, that was the map. We should go about cutting our hair now. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it, and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Cut hair, wait. Let's cut the hair. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Leah's chopping it up. <laughs> Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me doesn't make it good but you have to I do it because it's necessary walkers aren't people okay I think I'm about done I can probably tie these pieces back with something here I have some hair thingies you do uh, yeah Lily gave them to me for sleeping there all set Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot <laughs> harder to grab. I like right. it. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. 
I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! We gonna hit something? Hit in the fan, friends. A moment of respite. We got at least a good five minutes of respite. Until shit's hitting the fan again. Ooh. Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off! Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could've just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Define trouble. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. You are, Ken? We'll be down here. Hey, Ken. I want to talk to everybody before we head out. It's a ladder. Leads up to that wrecked tanker. <laughs> if I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Oh, here we go. Did we get new members a here? Of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when? Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. We're driving it. We could use some good people. It's been a bad day. We're not... Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I found her I was on my way to jail one day. I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Ben, it's a stupid kid. We just met Chuck. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Well, there we go. We chose to tell them the truth. I don't know if that was actually a good idea. Was it? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? You talk to your people, man. <laughs> Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? I'm looking around here. What do we got going on up here? Uh, what, what are we supposed to do? Tell the people the plan about getting it's the It's empty. Plan? Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. Let's look in there.
Is that tape? What's that going to be good for? That's about the only useful thing in here. Tape? I mean, we can tape something, I guess. Should we have told them the truth, I wonder? It makes me think that I wonder if I shouldn't tell everybody that I was going to prison. I just want to be honest, you know? But that was really honest. <laughs> this thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Lee, you're like Superman. Pull that thing down. Up. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? These two are joining us. We'll see about that. Gotta be careful about newcomers, I say. I don't know what it is. I can tell you two are good people. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. I don't want to lose Kenny. He feel, I, I, you know, I think... I think he's on the, uh, Fritz, friends. Might be thinking that he don't have much to live for. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. There you go, Chuck. We need people like you, Chuck. I like the group right now. God, I wish Carly was here. to see that she would love these people. We're just everyone. <laughs> Could you imagine Larry here right now? <laughs> All this power and we're still stuck. Who your jets, Rambo? Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess, I don't know. I just missed the, the uh, crew. Even though they were a crazy crew. Ben? So Ben's on lookout? Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Get used to them. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, their numbers keep going up. And ours... I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let them get a hold of you. <laughs> don't be dramatic and don't let them get a hold of you. <laughs> there you go, Lee. Soon Love as you. that thing comes down, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And I hope we won't have any more trouble out of you. I promise you won't. Jesus, Ben. <laughs> Can we go in here and talk to these? You know, I'm curious. Huh, let's talk. So I do kind of want to talk to the other one. Uh, I don't Ken? know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it, jackass. <laughs> Teaching him anything? Trying to. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Trying to. The whole thing's pretty simple, really. How could it not be? Learning the ropes? Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me. Maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. <laughs> Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. 
That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. Her cat is gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> I like him, me, man. I like him. He's really cool so far. We got some good members in the crew, friends. I think our crew right now, if we just had possibly... Well, if we if we had everybody else, this crew would be so awesome. I would love it. Absolutely love it. Her cat is gonna More be fucking... big shit to move. <laughs> Absolutely pissed. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Oh, they're having a blast back here talking. I was thinking about where they were. Let's talk to Clem. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. So that was it? We can't talk to her again? Interesting. Oh, we can talk to... What was her name? I Krista? guess it's good. Clem's got a woman to talk to. It sure is. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Careful, she's a crack shot now. Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where are you from? San Francisco. Geez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway? Other than old white guys. <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe we won't be around for a while. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Talk to Omid again? She didn't appreciate us prying, but it was a question to ask. I guess we could have skipped it, but how would I know? Hi, girls. Hey. Back in a bit. Hey, Ben. See ya. <laughs> Let's go talk to Amid again. She directed us to Amid about the tanker. But didn't he already tell us about the tanker? What are we supposed to be doing? Going to... Talk to you later. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Talk to you later. All right. Nothing. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to go to... Area? And he said, "That was the area." At? Oh, over Maybe here. You should check out that train station. The train station. Maybe I should check out that train station. All right, all right let's go. Let's roll out, Lee. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah. All right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Survivors inside? Oh. Well, if that says survivors inside, then it probably means that... I might die in there. To Bernie? To Bernie? Find silver? Can we actually. Hold on. Importers? Does any of this? Lee's not saying nothing. Ray's brand auto parts? Bacon, Georgia. Look at this. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. They were, and they're probably dead inside that fucking place. 
So that paint has been dry for months. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of scared about this. Let me, alright. Hmm. Trespassers will be prosecuted. No entry. Let's take that as a cue. There's nothing here. It's already trying to get the door open. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Yeah, that that's a bit scary, Clem. We'll have to find a way in. I can't see in there. Hmm, <clears throat> won't burnt. It looks like it's boarded up from the inside. Can we go over here? What's over here? Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Forklift? Alright, well there was... Oh, right here. Window. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Can I look in? We'll have to find a way in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. We're gonna put her up there to open the door? I don't know if I like that idea. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Jump in if you can. What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. Hmm. For real? I think so. For real? Good well, job, be son. damned. How? How the hell she open that? You okay? Uh-huh. All right, well... Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. What the hell are we going to prop it open with? Oh, our weapon? Prop it open with a piece of tape. Well, that works. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's right? too dark otherwise. Damn it. There's got to be something useful in here. Shipping and receiving. Yari Clem? How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Something to help us deal with the tanker. How about this can? You think that can will work? Shit. We have this piece of tape, but what exactly do we have this piece of tape for, I wonder? Something to deal with the tanker out there. There's the keys. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. We're locked up good. What is over there? They didn't have much business back then. It doesn't look like there's any walkers over there, is there? What That's is that? exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. A blowtorch? Interesting. I guess we'll use the blowtorch to... Blow porch, the blow torch to take out the um. Can't reach them from here. The metal part of the tanker that's hanging on, but that thing's gonna fall and probably explode, right? You would think. How the fuck do we get over there? Oh. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Clem, um, you ready? How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. I don't know. 
This whole boosting thing. You okay things. going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab him and let's get this gate open. It scares me. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Having her by herself. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Holy moly! Fuck! Whoa! Did he just bite us? Press W to back away. Oh, you can't catch me, suckers. Come on. Bring it on. Hey, <laughs> Lee! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Holy shit. Keys, now! Put that shit in there. God damn it, it's locked! Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? I could say that. We handled it. We did handle it. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. We're still alive. We know what we're doing. Hang in there, Krista. She's very protective. But I... Kind of like that. She's got that motherly feel to her. Already towards Clem with that one conversation she wants to protect her at all costs. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. At least that's how I feel. But what's going on here? Anything else in here? Wow. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learn everything is dangerous. You have to learn to pull the trigger. We learn not to be afraid. They should have got us. Or we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? You're awesome, Lee. You're awesome. All right, well, let's go back. I think we did all that we could do here. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. I just gotta click on everyone so much. Just have to. You know me. That was close. I was getting pretty scared there. I won't even begin to lie. But you and an eight-year-old taking out three walkers like it was nothing. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. I don't mean. Hold on, let's talk to people first. Before we actually head out. Hi, girls. 
Hey. About what happened at the station? We were trying to get used to being on our own. Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. She's really smart, friends. She's got that survival mentality probably better than anybody at this point. I feel like she is, out of all the people we have met, she seems to be the most person on point about all survival tactics at all times. We just met her, but wow, she is going, if she does stay, going to be a very valuable member of the group. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. But then again, Chuck is like that too. Kenny's like that too, but Kenny's a bit lost right now. Got anything, Ben? Soon as that thing comes down, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And I hope we won't have any more trouble out of you. I promise you won't. Hope we won't have any more trouble out of you, Benjamin. Let's go talk to Ken before we actually... Oh, we can't even get up the thing. Motherfucker, you better let me up there and talk to you, Kenny. Thought we were best friends. So, I'm getting the hint that this Omid character is definitely still alive because of Krista. Pretty awesome. What the fuck was that tape for, though, that we got? We still have it. So, let's talk to Omid. Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? How could it not? All right, well, let's do it. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Turn it off, dude. I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Oh my goodness. He's worried about his eyebrows when this thing might blow the hell up this tanker. <laughs> well, that's what the tape's for. Hope this holds. All right, well, let's try it now. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Are you ready for this? Fire that thing up. All right, well, let's fire that thing up, he says. I can't reach it now. Can't reach it now? Oh, he's got a marker on him. Blowtorch thing. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no. But I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Holy shit. Guys! There's something coming! What the what? Must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omid! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Holy. Kitty, go! Shit! What the hell do we do now? Set him on fire. Hope to God this works. Holy crap!
We gotta jump! What? No way! We have... Guys! Come on! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Ugh. Run! Run! No, her, not me! Krista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? She's not hurt though. That's why I got it's you. Okay, honey. I'm okay. <sighs> that was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is spot. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Makes me wonder if we would have picked her, he would have died here. In my mind, he was hurt. So I figured she would be okay. She seems like a strong woman. And she was perfectly fine. I felt we did the right thing here. I think. I don't know. Did we do the right thing? It's hard to say. Oh, she drew a picture of Kenny. Kenny and the fam. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. I feel like we came a long way with Kenny. cold like I've never seen. Glenn? Hello there. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. He sounded like a creeper. What the hell's going on here? Obviously not her parents. Oh, that was it? That was the end of the episode. Whoa. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! Round every corner. Ooh. Well, that uh, doesn't sound good. Whatever that person is, I, you know, I just don't know what... 
that's going to lead to. It doesn't sound like it's good, friends. He sounded like a goddamn creeper. He really did. Sweet, merciful death. Did you shoot the girl on the street to you? And 60% of players did not shoot her. I feel like that was the right call. And obviously, 60% of people also feel the same way. But it, I wanted to save her, but she was bit. We could have probably shot everything off of her. Chopped off her damn leg, if that would even work. But that's an idea. But she would have died anyway, because what kind of meds do, we, do you think we have, you know? We don't have state-of-the-art equipment to even deal with something like that. So, left behind, did you abandon Lily? You and 55% of players did not leave her. I just don't know. I didn't want, in my heart, I didn't want to abandon her. But at the moment, I did because I was so heartbroken about Carly. I really miss, every time we come into this game, I always think about Carly and Duck now. The whole situation with Duck was just so rough. Kasha, everything was just, everything in this game has been very rough so far. The whole thing with Duck has left a scar on me and the thing with Carly has left a scar for sure. But I just, I wanted to hope that we could turn her around, but we obviously cannot. Maybe she'll get some kind of arc, come and save us at some point. Sacrifice herself? I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking her story arc might be. I don't feel like we're not going to see her again. I think, I feel like we're going to see her again at some point. Just don't know when. Maybe this episode, next one, probably. There's only five episodes, so I'm thinking she'll come up again. Standoff, did you fight Kenny? You and 45% of players talked him down. You can fight Kenny? Oh my god. Wow, that must have been actually a hard scene then. To talk Kenny down. Interesting. A heavy burden. Did you shoot Duck? You and 81% of players shot him. Wow. That's a heavy... That's a lot. So I feel like parents should never put their children in graves. That's just... That's just so rough. Helping hand. Did you help Omid? You and 60% of players helped Omid. See? We're all thinking alike here. To me, it felt like I wanted to... I really wanted to help her. That was the whole thing. Help the lady first. Ladies first, friends. But she was perfectly fine. He jumped off of there and hurt herself. He was limping. And in my mind, I just felt like I could save him and hopefully she would be fine. And ultimately, that's how it worked out. I wonder if we would have saved her, then he would have died there. Is that a case of we actually saved both people because we made the right choice? We would have lost somebody if we made the wrong choice. But we got them both because we made the right choice. So, I don't know. But what's interesting about the Omid situation, I feel like I may have missed something. There was something that came up when we were talking to Krista. I feel like it was... Maybe it's going to be later on we can ask him about it, or why would it come up? But at one point, we talked to Krista, and she said something about the history thing. I feel like we could have said something to Amid. That's why I was actually going back to talk to Amid. Because the whole history thing, you learned about Omid's past with history. Why weren't we able to talk to him again? I don't know. I wonder if we should have went to Krista first, talked to her, and then went to Omid. Because it looked like it just cut off his dialogue. I wonder if we actually lost out on Omid will remember that or Omid realizes that. You know how this game seems to be. So... Unless that's something that's going to come up later that we could talk about history with him or something. But it looks like he's hurt. He doesn't look like he's in good shape. So that's going to be interesting. We got this whole, the way next episode is going, we are actually going into the city. Savannah. We're going into Savannah and then we have this mysterious guy on the walkie. Which is going to be very interesting. So Clementine... There was times where we've seen Clementine, if we date back to some of the other episodes, I can't remember which episode it was, but we were coming back to the camp. I believe it was after the whole situation with the cannibals. Clementine was sitting there talking on the walkie to somebody. I wouldn't say she was talking. I didn't, I didn't think about it at the time, but I thought she was maybe trying to imaginary talking to somebody. But I think she was ultimately talking to this person. Does that make sense? I just remember little things. I Little things get stuck in my head. I don't know. My perception to everything is probably a bit much. But I just want to keep... I want to be... Know my surroundings. I 
want to know everything. I overanalyze everything. So that's just how I, I don't know, it's just how I play, how I look at life in general. So, wow, what a great episode. That was really heavy stuff. The whole situation with Duck, Kaja, Harley. It was, we lost three members and now we have three new members, but I just wish they didn't have to go, but I know that's just how it is, friends. That's the uh, the way the cookie crumbles or whatever the hell the saying is when times are like this. But then again, let's hope that times never get like this, but who knows? <laughs> Anyways, when we come back, we're going to jump right into episode four. I can't believe we're already in episode four. Time is really moving in this game. So looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see where this situation with the walkie and i'm really looking forward to seeing how omid and krista are and chuck i want to know more about their characters because i really like our crew right now i think right now with just the little bit i think the crew right now is probably my favorite since we have started this game i miss carly a lot i do but i think now our crew is really good it's just a matter of keeping ken intact i feel like we can and then, well, if we could trade Ben for Carly, that'd be great. But Ben, I don't know how I feel about him yet. I just think that we need to give him more time. Maybe maybe he'll step up. But let's hope. Let's hope he does. But for some reason, I beg to differ. I don't know. Ben is an interesting character so far. Anyways, friends, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care. <laughs>